Hello, I am Martin Fenska and welcome to another part of Let's Play Darkest Dungeon. As usual, before we start today's run, I'll give you guys a quick update on what's going on in town. Uh, first, um, we had some diseases that we need to remove, so that's uh, what we are working on in the medical ward. And um, <clears throat> also we got slow draw on our jester in the previous run, so I want to remove that before it uh, becomes fixed. <clears throat> so this is uh, where some gold disappeared. And also another thing, I already talked about that, I dismissed one of our level 3 Vestals. Uh, the one with uh, like four negative quirks and hired a new one. Uh, I was thinking about this for quite a while and um, actually had uh, some problems uh, getting a group for today. Uh, first, uh, I wanted to go for an apprentice run, then I decided against that. I wanted to go for a first veteran run. I even had the group ready uh, and then I changed my mind again. Uh, so. The final decision was to get rid of uh, the Westal, hire a new one, since we have one available. Problem is, even though we upgraded the stage couch uh, here, the experience recruits, we upgraded that. Uh, uh, the Westal is still level zero, and I really hate running with an experienced heroes. But um, well, this is probably the best choice we have now. Uh, the veteran run. We are still not quite ready for that. Um, I'd have to spend a ton of heirlooms uh, on upgrade of blacksmith. I would have to trade uh, uh, some crests for deeds. We needed uh, 14, uh, 14 extra deeds to get uh, uh, another level for armorsmithing. And also the price of upgrades now is really high and um, I'd like to uh, get the cost reduction before I start upgrading um, the level 3 heroes. I'm not sure if it's gonna be possible to get all the, the discounts but I really want to try it. So the veteran run was an option but the price would be so high that I just I'd just rather wait, even though we'll have to go with a very weird uh, composition today. i still rather do that than like invest everything into a veteran run and then just fail for whatever reason and um, end up without money. So, uh, let's get uh, to what's the final decision. Here you can see it, this is the composition. Uh, I had to upgrade some of the heroes, so I'll get to that uh, uh, when I go through the group uh, one by one. Uh, our new Westal, I had to buy two new abilities to get the usual setup. And um, uh, she's also Cove Phobe, which is a problem because we are going to Cove today. But I just didn't have a choice, even though she's just bad for this run, it's the best we have. I don't want to go without healer. I'm trying to uh, mitigate the Kofob quirk with uh, Arya's box or negate the, the quirk with Arya's box. And um, also, I took only Hirogen's charm instead of Junia's head, so we don't have another uh, another extra stress damage from the from Junia's head. It's this one uh, here. It's um, stronger for heals, but the extra uh, stress damage together with uh, the Quirk, uh, that will be too much. So hopefully uh, the Hurricane's Charm will be enough. Uh, then I am taking Gurney as the only level 2 hero. And um, he is the one who is hopefully going to carry us through the run. He was already fully upgraded, and I'm giving him... Um, uh, flash fire gunpowder for extra damage. I hope the stun resist won't be a problem. And uh, this must is head for even more damage. And uh, I don't even care about the, that the minus 10 percent hit points. I just want him to have as much damage as possible. Hopefully, he'll be able to kill uh, all the dangerous uh, uh, enemies before they can do something. I hope it's not a mistake, but uh, he has pretty high dodge. Uh, 
So hopefully it's gonna work. Uh, then off tank is a hound master. Uh, I had to upgrade him both uh, the gear and his abilities, and uh, um, he is getting a tough ring and ancestor scandal. Um, I wanted to boost his uh, defensive uh, abilities a bit. Well, actually, I wanted to boost it a lot, so that's why the tough ring. And um, he also gets dodge and speed from the candle, and the penalty to damage from the tough ring uh, is negated by the ancestor scandal. So uh, he still can do at least some damage, and um, his defensive abilities are uh, boosted quite a lot. So hopefully it's, it's going to work as uh, an off tank. And on the position of a main tank, we have um, antiquarian. Uh, with um, Ancestor's Bottle and Bag of Marbles, she's not bad as a tank. Um, of course, not the tank for like a boss fight or something, but for a normal short run, this should be enough. 30 hit points, 20 dodge, uh, I had to upgrade her gear and abilities, and I'm taking a defensive setup. Uh, protect me, get down, I trade it with Flashbang. So I want uh, the further boost to dodge if we need that, and festering vapor is with nervous stab, so we can do at least some damage. Um, it's a weird setup, like very weird setup, but I think it's the best we can take. I was considering um, uh, the abomination for quite a while, but then I realized we would have to go without Westal. So that's something we can't afford, and it will be hard to get uh, the Abomination to level 3, we'll have to do some runs without healers, uh, because um, uh, we wanted a healer with an Abomination, we'd have to get an Occultist and uh, dismiss more heroes. Um, well, the more heroes we get to level 3, the more difficult it will be to get a decent uh, apprentice group. Uh, hopefully it's gonna work today, we are going only for a short run. So, yeah, fingers crossed. <laughs> this could be a disaster. I'm afraid of uh, stress, because we can't reduce stress, and the Vestal will start already with some stress. Uh, with like 20, I think. So, I have no idea what's gonna happen. But let's find out. Uh, do I have all the trinkets? Yep. Because we are going to Cove, uh, we'll be taking... Well, first, let's take food. Maybe I'm gonna take all the food. No, we have a healer. But the, the composition is just bad. <sighs> I think I'm gonna take all of it so we can use it to heal if we have to. Four shovels. One key probably. One holy water. Three herbs. And how many? Twelve torches? Maybe I'm taking too many things, but with this setup, I rather come prepared. Um, hmm, anything else? We don't need bandage. One key should be enough. We have shovels. Okay. Let's start it and hope that we won't fail horribly. Oh, it looks like a really long terrible. run. At least we start with scout with um, decent scouting, but um, how many rooms do we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, that's quite a lot for a short run, or at least it seems to me that it's quite long. Okay, let's just get into the first fight and see what's gonna happen. Maybe it won't be that bad. Um, hmm. 
well. We surprised them. That's a good start. Uh, Shaman will be the highest priority, definitely. We have to get rid of everything that can increase stress. That's a nice hit. Uh, can you kill him? Please. There we go. Give them no quarter. What about you? Okay, another one down. And how does it look like with the stun resist? 50 and blackjack is 135. Uh, I think it's pretty decent chance. Yeah, there we go, it's stunned. And hopefully we can kill it fast enough. There we go. Okay, that worked. And the rare uh, antique uh, to start with, well, I'm not gonna complain about that. Ah, come on. Don't need empty, uh, empty um, sacks because that's the uh, only time when the antiquarian doesn't give us uh, the extra antique. Because we still need to farm farm gold, I still need to prepare for those veteran runs finally. Okay, another fight. First one was good, and uh, well, here at least we don't have to worry about stress that much, I think. Uh, how much damage can we do? 5 to 8. That sucks. Okay, I think we're gonna start with the stun. Um, hmm. Yeah, what now? Just oh, nice. Successfully executed. That hurt. And we managed to dodge the third attack. Okay. Not enough damage. How many? Uh, how much damage can we do? Uh, I probably don't want to risk anything and go for the guaranteed kill. As long as we hit, that is. Okay. Good. This should be a kill if we hit. There we go. And here... Well... Probably just to attack. And hopefully finish him off. That oh, wasn't that bad. Destroy them all. Good. Oh, another rare antique. That's a good start. Otherworldly corruption. And we could get a scouting proc in this room, that would be amazing. Only the strength to follow it. There we go. Oh. And we see like half of the dungeon now. Okay, so how does it look like? Um, two fights here. Well, we have to go... We could avoid this room if we wanted to. Because the goal is to explore 90% of the rooms. So that means we can ignore one room. And if we ignore this part, we'd ignore two fights. I'm even thinking about just going down, clear it here, and then return up, go to this room and... Uh, after that we can decide if uh, we are ready for two more fights, we can go after it, if not we just leave. And I think that's what I'm gonna do, just play it safe. So far it was good, we managed to get through two fights easily, but I'm still not convinced that uh, this group uh, will hold together if uh, you know the, the opponent uh, put some pressure on it. 
Well, <laughs> I'm definitely gonna ignore this thing. Another mariner, another misfortune. The match is struck. A blazing star is born. Sure, we can eat. This time we have more than enough food. As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted. And I'm thinking about that shambler. <laughs> that would be just too suicidal. We don't have the AoE damage to kill those things he spawns. Now, this time we really have to ignore that. Okay, how does it look like? 60, 90, 100. Uh, no, reduce the stress a bit, so why not? In radiance, may we find victory. And I think we can use the shovel here, no problem. A fortune waiting to okay. be spent. Another trap. I'm not gonna risk anything. Go for the hundred percent chance. And can we get another scouting proc? No, not this time. Wow, laden with loot. That's a lot of loot. Supplies. We can take all of it. I'm quite surprised. Um, and there is a fight, but um, this is okay. Like bandits shouldn't be a problem. Uh, how are we gonna do it? Highwayman should be able to kill this guy. We can take one hit from the Fusilier. So I think... Uh, never mind. Uh, I wanted to... Uh, attack this one with three people, try to kill him. Well, that uh, didn't work. Mm. Oh, that's not gonna be enough, so we have to stun him. And I hope... Oh, I really overestimated the highwayman. I'm surprised how bad he is. Like, look at the extra damage that he has and he can't one shot the cutthroat without a crit well there is a small chance but I doubt that uh, it's gonna happen what about this that's maybe better lower chance to crit actually no I thought that he, his um, crit chance uh, decreased we had to highwayman with the negative quirk that reduced the crit chance, but um, this uh, is quite good. Uh, if we hit for nine and let the bleed, the cutthroat is gonna die. There we go. So that works as well. Just one shot him, and. Um, Managed to dodge almost everything. Okay. 47 or 3. Let's try to kill him. Nice crit. And this should be enough. Yep. Okay, Great that works. Weapon that cuts on its own. Oh, what uh, is the problem? Gold. Mm -hmm. Well, 
this shouldn't be a problem for long. We just heal everyone up and throw away the food. Okay, nothing here. So, now we just go back. And once we get to this room, we can uh, leave this dungeon anytime we want. Let's look like it's stress, by the way. 1714. Uh, it's. Uh, not perfect, but I would like to take um, a Jester for a next round, that's the plan. Uh, I expected that we end up with some stress, so the next uh, run we take a Jester and remove the stress, so we don't have to waste time on it in uh, town. Let's try it with the Houndmaster now, it's 90% and we could uh, remove the stress with uh, the trap, I think it's worth the risk, it's only 10%. Oh, and the rare antique from just uh, a torch stand. Damn, that was lucky. Okay, we're done, but uh, I think we can keep going. Um. does this thing work? I just know that we don't want to break it with the shovel. There will be 100 stress. Thinking, trying with Gurney, he's not going for the next run because he's gonna level up from this run, so if it's something nasty, we don't have to worry about it. Now I just have to look on at the people who will be using for future runs because now we don't have that many people uh, to choose from. I have to be careful so we don't lose someone who will be important for like every composition, like the Vestal. We have to make sure that the Vestal can go now like every time. But we can try it with Gurney and get it. Positive quirk that replaced Slugger. Uh, the last gasp is quite weak. Well, well, probably shouldn't complain. Use another torch, and I think for the for this fight, for the next fight, we can use. These dog uh, treats and boost the damage a little bit. Oh, okay, managed to surprise them. At least uh, that's a good thing. Um, okay, we need the damage. <laughs> I don't think that we need it right now. much damage would this be? Is it worth the risk or do I want to go for a stun? Does the stun resist 10%?
It's like 50% chance. I think I'd rather stun him. Well, never mind. At least he's not using the stress wave. Now I'm uh, more worried about the stress than the normal damage. Uh, unless it's like 10 damage per hit. I hurt. Okay. Time to buff up the dog. And kill the shaman if possible. There we go. Hmm. I think I'm gonna use uh, uh, the protection this time. Yep, it worked good. Try to stun again. I think it's worth it. Okay, it worked. There we go. And just try to kill this thing as fast as possible. That's a nice crit. Another rare antique. Well, These this time we are very lucky with the uh, antiques. Um, what do we want to throw away now? Probably torches. We can also throw away herbs. But, well, let's get rid of torches. We are done, or almost done with this run anyway. Okay, heal up. Anyone else? Nope. Can we do anything? Uh, use to purge evil and restore purity can also be applied to hero to increase the resistances. Thinking about using it. Yeah, let's let's do it. I want to see the buff. Blind bleed uh, disease debuff. I was hoping it's also gonna be stress resist. Okay, at least we know for now. Um, yep, that's all we can do. What's it gonna be? Um, wow. So we have to kill the thrall. Time we won't be able to avoid the stress wave, I think. Yeah, there, there we go. Oh, we dodged that. Perfect. Why can't we use uh, the buff? Because we still have it. That works. Kill it, please. Perfect. And the shaman is. Uh, we can't hit him with the uh, open way. Okay, let's try this guy then. And it should be enough. No, he resisted. Come on, man. Don't resist. There we go. Yep, and... Um, now the Shaman is protected. Well, he managed to dodge, so why not? But... Um, if we stun the Guardian, uh, the buff should disappear. Yep, it's gone. So now we should be able to kill the shaman. And maybe even stun him, just in case we miss. Nope, it worked. Good. Hmm, let's try another stun. The base chance is quite decent, so it might actually work. Yep. Um, and I think it's time for Blight. Wow, 
white bleed, stuff like that. Best way we can kill this thing. Um, up the dog so we can do at least something oh that was a lot of damage okay so clearly in view we need the anti-venom not really it doesn't matter if we take it or not and open the heirloom chest wow that's quite decent as well this was a good run Eight minor antiques and four rare antiques for a short run. That's pretty damn good. And almost no stress. Okay. I expect that we can have more problems. You find all manner of great and terrible things in this watery tomb. Let's see how much shit do we get. Thirteen and a half thousand from a short run. Not gonna complain and quite a few heirlooms. That looks pretty damn good. Okay, no cheat. I don't really care about that. I'm not using gamble that often. Uh Kleptomaniac sucks. Hard skin is is good, that's one of the best uh, quirks, but kleptomaniacs, uh, kleptomania, we have to remove. And what about you? Warren's adventurer replaced Ruin's tactician. Whatever, it's uh, quite similar. Zone specific buff. Maybe the Ruin's tactician is a bit better, but well, whatever. It's okay. The poor mm. caretaker. I fear his long standing so, duties first, have um, affected him. Let's get rid of the kleptomania. And now, what do we have here? This experience recruits suck. Not a single level one hero. If I knew how bad it is, at least the first level, I probably wouldn't bother. Okay, so what's um, our what are our options for uh, the next run? Um, another boss round to get a tough ring. Hmm. Don't think so with the uh, people that we have available. Or, a long run in Cove. That sounds really dangerous. For a sun ring. A sun ring is amazing. 15% extra damage and extra accuracy in exchange for just 10% uh, stress damage. That's perfect. Like, we are never running uh, with Torridge under 75. Or just go for another short run in Ruins. Can we maybe get a group together for this quickly? May have a problem with the second position though. I can't take um, Abomination, because then I would have to uh, leave the Vestal behind. The option would be um, this. You don't have a healer, but we can remove stress.
The Abomination has some healing. Damage should be decent for ruins. Hmm, we need a tank. Another option would be go like this, use the Vestal on the second position and uh, uh, just take her uh, melee abilities. We would still have uh, Divine Comfort, it's not the best heal ever, but it's at least something. I wanted to do short, two short runs in this part, but I think I'll have to... Uh, stop the recording here and think about our options. We also have a, a short veteran run. We didn't have a short run available last time, so that was another reason why I decided against veteran run. I didn't want to start the uh, veteran runs uh, uh, with a medium one. So that might be also an option. It just sucks that... Uh, won't get a sun ring. I just don't see composition for that. Maybe if the if it wasn't in Cove, uh, then I'd try it. But Okay, so as I said, I'm gonna think about this off camera. I really don't know now. Two options. This is what we have now. Or the no healer setup. Problem with this is we don't realize that much damage. When you are going without the healer, uh, you need a group that can kill everything before you can get into trouble, so you don't basically need the healer. But here, who can do some damage? The Arbalest? Well, with uh, just a sniper shot being a decent damage, maybe. Chester, not really. Most of the damage comes from bleeds, and in the ruins, most uh, uh, enemies are uh, actually immune to bleeds. The Abomination in the human form, it's Blight and uh, a Stun, so that's really not that much damage. And Apprentice, I mean Apprentice um, Antiquarian, that's also not uh, that much damage. So I don't think that uh, this composition can work unless we just transform the Abomination for every fight and try to keep the stress down with the Jester, so then we would have the Abomination as the second hard-hitting uh, hero. Uh, Rake, Rage, and Slam. Hmm. The problem with this composition, though, is... Uh, and the Vestal is so much weaker when uh, uh, on like a tank position because uh, she can't use the, uh, she used the Divine Grace and that's like the main skill uh, why I'm taking her most of the time. Have a decent single target heal is important. Divine Comfort sucks on low level. Why can't these two go together? And yeah, we just can't take the Jester in second position because then um, we wouldn't have the inspiring tune. You can't go in the second position. Eh. Well, this is gonna be interesting with uh, these heroes that we have available for, for Apprentice rounds. It really won't be easy to get a good group. 
And I'm quite uh, curious how we're gonna kill the last boss in Cove. And I'm not even sure if it's actually the last boss in Cove. At least the apprentice boss. But, well, I'm gonna think about it more of camera, as I said. It's gonna, again, take a while to decide. We badly need to get some more people to level 2 and upgrade them further, then it will become much easier. Um, so, yeah, I think we have something to look forward for the next part. <laughs> it's gonna be, again, an interesting comp composition, probably something I haven't tried yet. And I hope uh, you join me for the next part uh, to find out how it's gonna uh, end up. And until then, have a good time, and bye-bye!